Hello, this is the CRT man here. Today I have some more LEGO computer updates which consisted from November 9th to November 16th, 2013. And it's actually already about mid-December 2013, so I'm kind of late filming this video, but I just didn't really get to didn't really get the time to make it till now, so just to let you know, the LEGO CRT television slash monitor has stayed the same. If you want to see the awesome insides and updates on this, you got to check out the previous one, which I think was from, um, I think, September 9th, 2013 or something, the actual update. So I'm just going to, I'm going to take this down and unplug everything, which is, for some reason, I can't do it right now. The keyboard and mouse have stayed the same, so this stuff hasn't changed since about 2012 late 2012. The floppy disks have stayed the same. Speakers have stayed the same. Hope you can see that. Um, I'm going to get to unplugging this. There we go. The, um, the video game controller has stayed the same. Now the gun has stayed, the, the Lego light gun has stayed the same, but I lost the bottom part in my mom's room, so i got to find that. I haven't found it since I lost it, so wish me luck. Um, the Lego screwdriver and high voltage probe adapter have stayed the same. And really, the up, the update on the computer, and uh, the updates of, to, of this time are only on the computer. So, let me see if you can see this here. Um, as you see, this part, as I mentioned before, is now yellow. Um, the main change is actually on the, the way the floppy drive fits in the computer. But, and, uh, so let me just open this thing up. Which is going to be kind of hard, because it's, there we go, that's the first time it's ever came off perfectly on camera, if I, if I recall correctly. So the design for this is perfect now, the top cover. So here's the insides. Now you might be wondering, well, what the heck changed? Well, first of all, when it comes to removing the hard drive, you remember, you take this off, and then just take it out, and you saw it slides in slides out see kind of how it's slidey i hope you can kind of see what i'm talking about the lighting looks kind of bad now with the floppy drive it used to just be just built right on to the actual computer case well now if you just remove these if you just remove that piece you could do the same it just slides on slides off <laughs> wax on wax off so you see, the floppy drive is removable from the computer now, when it used to be built in. And you see, down here, this is where all the slidey stuff is. Well, you could basically call these expansion ports. So if you want to put in another floppy drive where the hard drive goes, you just slide it in, even though officially the case isn't designed to be like that. That could be for like a later model. So yeah. CPU has stayed the same, uh, RAM has stayed the same, the power supply has a minor difference, the power supply now is a switching power supply, so this means that it's off, and this means that it's on, so, you see it's plugged in, so, yeah, here's the plug, take that out, off, on, so yeah, it's a switching power supply now, which is pretty cool, and, um, yeah, and just put everything back together, you just slide everything back in, slide the floppy drive in, lock it into place on the case, very easy, slide the hard drive back in, lock it into place, and yeah, it's really convenient now, nothing's like just built right onto the computer, so it doesn't break as much, and if it does break, it's really easy to put everything back together, and just put the top case back on by just pressing it down and there you go and here's once again the lego tv slash monitor i actually forgot to mention about the update on the lego hard drive it's funny how i mentioned about the hard drive but i forgot to mention the update on the hard drive so it wasn't just the floppy drive oh boy and you see this kind of broke this broke this time so yeah let me just get to that real quick i'm really sorry about that is actually, yeah. So, yeah, about back to the hard drive, and now this thing is starting to break apart for some reason. Uh, God, 
I did a great job earlier, now I'm just failing. Okay, so back to the hard drive. Taking it out is the same, but the insides have made a change. For some reason, I forgot to mention the insides changing. Um, so as you see here, the accolator section and accolator arm are completely different. Because before, it was more like the standard kind of um, magnetism. But now, it looks more old school, more early 1990s. Not really a stepper motor, but just, it looks older. It looks like it's a, it kind of looks like the insides of those Connor peripherals hard drives. Like the one that I reviewed at my friend's house. That one was from 1992. So you see, here's the little um, magnetic things. And this is the little thing that turn the, the accelerator that turns the accelerator arm and then moves the heads onto the platter. And it spins much better like this too. That's the best it's ever spun with the accelerator arm on there. So yeah, and you can move it really precise too. It doesn't just flop all over the place. You can move it really precise, and you can even move it with the red accelerator thing. So there you have it, that's the part I forgot, so yeah. There you have it, so thanks for watching.